Hi everyone and welcome to Better Data Science. In today's video I want to briefly go over the way you can use Python to correct grammatical mistakes. Usually this would imply a paid subscription to some service that you can only access from the web, but as it turns out, Python provides a simple way to do it completely free of charge. Python's Gingerate model allows you to do just that, and today you'll learn how to install it and how to use it in only a couple of minutes. The whole thing is based on Ginger software, and you can read more about it on the official website. You probably don't care about this, so let's jump straight into Jupyter and, and install the library. The package is available on Python package index, which means we can install it with a single command. So pip install gingerit. It's installed, so let's try to use it. So from gingerit, gingerit, import the class. Now I'll declare a string. Let's say this sentence contains a couple of grammatical mistakes and as you can see there are there are a couple of issues with this sentence so at least grammatically so it's couple and we are, we're missing an m here so that's something ginger it should catch and potentially you know fix so let's instantiate the class parser equals to ginger it and now parser parse or text string. As you can see, we instantly get a JSON decode error, which is common and there are ways around it. The package is also available on GitHub, so we can just grab the main file and see what's, co what's causing this issue. So this is the GitHub repo, and the main file should, should be right here. It's not that long, so I'll just copy the entire class alongside the imports and pa paste it above. And now to fix this issue, we'll need to change the way the session is initialized. So this line here. We'll have to install the Cloud Scraper Python library first, which is used to bypass Cloudflare's anti-bot page. So the command is pip install Cloud Scraper. Okay, it's installed now. So let's change the session initialization. And But first let's fix the import. Cloud scraper, we don't need the requests anymore. So it's cloud scraper that creates scraper. And this should work. Now let's delete this import since we're using the the ginger class and let's try running it now the result dictionary contains the original text input uh, the corrected sentence and a list of corrections these corrections may be a bit hard to see so let's wrap them in a pandas data frame so import pandas spd pd this is just a modification set option display maximum column width to none and now while we'll wrap this parse parsing part into a variable and make a data frame pd data frame from result and we want to access this corrections list It looks like Gingery has no trouble fixing up a relatively short piece of text, so let's see what will happen if we make the input string longer and add more grammatical mistakes. So I'll redeclare text as this and reinitialize the parser, which is optional. And parser parse text. And now it's especially tricky to see all the corrections. So let's wrap the, the corrections to append those data frame. So PD data frame. And 
access the corrections list. Overall, Gingery did an excellent job. There is only one objection I could find in this, in this example, and that is that it failed to correct work into works in the last sentence. So it should be fingers crossed everything works instead of work. It's not a major issue, but just something to consider. I want to keep this video short, so go over to betterdatascience.com to see if Ginger can correct 500 character long and 2000 character long strings. The link to the article will be in the description below. As for the video, next I want to go over some Ginger's frequently asked questions and also some limitations you might run into. So the first and the biggest question you probably have is connected to the pricing. Basically, Ginger is free to use from Python and their website editor with a limitation of 600 characters per API request. The article over at betterdatascience.com shows you what happens in Python once you go over the threshold and what are some potential ways around it. The second biggest question or actually complaint that people often have is that Ginger it isn't working. There are many reasons why this might happen, but it almost always boils down to JSON decode error, which I showed you how to solve, or a character limit. As I said previously, you can't pass in a string longer than 600 characters at once. You might also run into weekly rate limits, but that shouldn't happen right away. And that pretty much does it for using Python as a translation software with Gingerit. We went through the process of configuration, which is more manual than it needs to be, and I've also shown you a couple of examples. There are more complex usage examples on the website, so feel free to read the article if you want to dive deeper. That's it from me, and thanks for watching until the end. If you like this video and want to see more content related to Python and data science, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time.